I guarantee you're missing out on a huge potential audience for your live stream. And unlocking that potential is actually pretty simple. Not many people know that the Twitch player, similar to the YouTube player you're watching right now, supports closed captions. The problem is though, that it's not automatically enabled. So let's set it up and unlock those potential viewers. To get started, we're heading back to my favorite place, the OBS plugin forums. I'll leave a link in the uh, description down below, but we're looking for the OBS captions plugin. It's the usual download process, but the install is slightly different because there's no installer. So you'll need to manually locate your OBS install folder, then drag and drop the file into the correct folder. The default is your C drive, your program files, and then the OBS studio folder. To set the plugin up in OBS, head into the docs dropdown at the top and make sure the captions doc is enabled. Hit the cog wheel and it brings up these settings. The most important thing to do is to enable the captioning at the top of the setup window. Next, we're gonna move down to that caption source option and in here, from the drop down, is where you select your microphone input. Yours might look different to mine. I wrote all my audio in OBS itself, and I made a video about that, so you can find the link in this top corner. Set the captions to uh, capture when the source is heard on stream, and make sure that you select your language. If you're like me and you're from the UK, then make sure to select the English United Kingdom option as it differs slightly to the US version. You can choose where your captions output to, if you want them to stream only, to local recording or to both. I'd recommend leaving this on stream only if you're just gonna be streaming with it. The lines is how many lines of captions you want to show up at the bottom of your stream. The profanity filter and the capitalization are personal preference, it's up to you. And that's it set up for your stream. If you want to record captions for a local recording, you can set the file locations and whatnot, but for stream captions, you are already good to go. Make sure to save your settings down at the bottom right hand side, and on the bottom left, hit the show preview button. If you now talk into your microphone, you'll see that there's live captioning happening in real time right in front of you. And when you're happy that that works, you're ready to stream. You do not need to keep the preview window open for it to work while you're on stream, and if you close that down, the dock will say underneath it that the stream is offline and the captioning is disabled. Do not worry about it. When you go live, the captioning will automatically enable itself and it'll work fine. It's that simple. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you found this video helpful at all, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.